You guys want to do this? Yeah, fuck this. Wow, that was deplorable. I am not being Donkey Kong Jr. anymore. Fuck that. His acceleration is shit. Oh. You do oh, realize yeah. why 100? We only do special on 100. God damn it. We'd have to okay. actually do well, though. Corky Romano. <laughs> Corky Romano, that sounds familiar. Genre comedy crime directed by Robert Briggs, starring Chris Catton, Peter Falk, and Vanessa Shaw. Saturday Night Live's cast member Chris Catton appears in this mob theme comedy that also stars Peter Fox as Catton's father. Pick said the movie was unimaginative and depressing and the jokes tired and unfunny. They received a 6% freshness rating from critics on Rotten Tomatoes, but it did better among audiences, 38% of whom said they liked it. Uh, Saturday Night Live people end up being hit or miss. Yeah. On Deadly Ground. That sounds very familiar. Action Adventure Thriller directed and starring Steven Seagal. Oh, Michael that's Kane, why. John Chen. Action star Steven Seagal makes his directorial debut in this film, and it shows. Seagal plays a government environmental worker who goes against the Alaskan wilderness to protect land scared sacred to the indigenous people that is targeted for development by greedy developers. Critics lambasted the film as preachy and Seagull va a Seagull vanity project. A flop with critics, 10% precious rating on Rotten Tomatoes, and the box office where it failed to cover its 50 million budget. What a surprise. I did not see that coming. Damn it! The Human Centipede 2, full sequence. Oh god, that's right! Mm. Why did there need to be a sequel? Drama, horror, Tom Six. Sorry. There was a sequel? Yes. Apparently, I didn't even know about this. I thought there was supposed to be a third one, too. Lawrence R. Harvey, Ashlyn, Yenny, Maddie Black. A sequel to the original cult classic, critics disliked The Human Centipede 2. Full sequence for gratuitous and exploitative violence, which one critic called torture porn. Yep. It received a 29% fractious rating among critics, but only 22% of audiences liked it. The film grossed under 142,000. Wow, however much more fun is it had. Robocop 3! Yep. Oh, it was that bad? That's a shame. The first two were good. I mean, yeah. I would hope so. Yeah. For them Action, to be a third Crime, movie. Action, Sci-Fi, Fred Decker, Robert, Fuck. John Burke, Nancy Allen, Mario, Machado, and the third installment of the Robocop series, the mechanized humanoid. Bows and Raiders were just trying to kick out the full evidence of Detroit and seize the real estate. Robocop 3 managed just a 3% precious rating among critics and Ron Tomatoes, and only 14% of audiences liked the movie. Far cry from the original. Oh, yeah. I mean... People love the original, and like the second one, at the yeah. very least. Actually, no, I watched both of the uh, first two movies. Pretty damn good. Especially the first one. Though. I mean, yeah. Uh, Body of Evidence. Drama, thriller. Billy Deal, Madonna, apparently starting Oh god, a Madonna Will, movie, oh dear. Will Defoe and John Mantegna. John Mantegna. The movie tried to capitalize oh, yeah. on the star power of Madonna and is remembered for its cheeky sex scenes. It was a critical and box office disaster. Critics on Rotten Tomatoes gave it a freshness rating of 8% and the movie grossed less than half of its $30 million budget. Uh, Much of which went to the lineup and stars in the film. Will Defoe, Joe Mantegna, and Archer, William Moore, Jurgen Prochnow, and Frank Langella. Damn. Ah, there we go. Too hard to listen to this one, buddy. Oh god, what's your Chun Li? Oh Jesus Christ. Oh no, why did that fail? I yeah. thought it was good. I didn't realize that was actually a thing. Yeah, it was a thing. I thought there were only two Street Fighter movies. You're talking about are you including the animated one? There was an animated one. Oh, huh. Okay, yeah, that's not the one I'm thinking of. Because if you're not including an animated one, it's taking two. Oh, okay. Yeah. God yeah, damn Street it. Fighter Legend Chun is Feature movie adaptation of the video game franchise, and was played by Christian Brick. We started in the series Smallville. Critics thought the plot was lacking in the characters in the cast. The film got a fresh train of 6%. Last minute, it was just 14% of the audience liked the movie. Box office disappointment, grossing less than Fuck. 9 million domestically and costing 50 million to make. Of course. 
Book of Shadows, Blair Witch 2. Oh, oh right, Blair Witch 2. Action. The first one's overrated anyway. Adventure Fantasy 4. Hey, fuck you, Luigi! <laughs> Bill Berlinger, Jeffrey Donovan, Steven, Mark Turner, uh, Eric O. Uh, it's like, I knew that Rich I knew that Rich Show fuck was coming. Yeah. Critics described this pale ball to the original Blair Witch Project as the not dreadful team of Warwick and Harley Bulletin. Scary Movie 5. Yep. You can put like every fucking movie by them on there and yeah. I would believe all of them. Yeah. Except Scary Movie 1, I guess, and maybe Scary Movie 3. Yeah. Um, all yeah. the others? Yeah. Scary Movie franchise is all the way by the Wayne Brothers and Growth of 800 million by the parody in the horror genre. It features other cameos. The comic for is possibly by the film, but it's not. And installment, Guardian 4% of the Damn, I missed it. The Fog. Oh yeah, that sucked. Four, John Horror, Rupert Wainwright, Tom Lally, Maggie, Grace, Sam Claire. I can't mix that up with the Mist. The Mist is actually good. Seventy-five, while seventy-five percent of critics enjoyed the original. This is too Thomas. easy. Carpenter, <laughs> Helm the Frost, uh, from nineteen eighty, a mere four percent approved as two thousand five remake according to Rotten Tomatoes. According to consensus, critics oh, under the lead. Website, the update for five, black squares, suspense, originality, three of the most important traits of all war films. <laughs> wow! Good job! How they fucked that up so badly? The Darkness. Horror thriller directed by Greg McLean, starring Kevin Bacon, Rada, Mitchell, and David Mathis. Oh man, Kevin Bacon. An off fusion of psychodrama and supernatural folk cult. According to Variety, this lower end culture dice was widely planned for being derivative of all the stairs. Of course. A Sound of Thunder. A sound of Thunder? Yeah, number 67. Huh. Action Adventure Horror, directed by Peter Wattimes. Hmm. Starring Edward Burns, Ben Kingsley, Catherine McCormack. A sound of Thunder is a time travel movie about hunters who return to three short times to on dinosaurs who pass off results. Critics questioned the logic of this film and gave it a 60% freshness rating on Rotten Tomatoes, <laughs> and just 80% of the audience liked it. It's a time travel movie. That's if certain rules are established, you know it's going to be bad. Texas Chainsaw Massacre, The Next Generation. Yeah. Oh, that one. Comedy Fucking! Thriller. 20 years after the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre was released, Kim Henkel, who produced the first version of the game, unleashed his three group of the Slaughter Fest. Owen Lederman of Entertainment League called this version Lurid, Lurid Ring of Dismal. Critics gave this film a 15% freshness rating on Rotten Tomatoes. Only 70% audience liked it. The original credit with launching the slasher genre received a fresh rating of 88% from the credits on Rotten Tomatoes and 82% of the audience liked it. Geez, like the original is actually good. <laughs> Show us for yeah. Oh, come on! That was a class. Wait, which one? Show us 3D. Venture mm. Board Thriller, directed by Joelle, Dennis Cage. There's a shark in the park! There's a shark <laughs> in the Simon. park! <laughs> Mac Core Female. Third installment in the Jaws franchise, Jaws 3D was a financial success, grossing over 45 million in the US. The 3D gimmick did not save this film from a critical thrash, however. The movie wanted to be nominated for five Razzie Awards, a mock award. There's the, one worse in that series. The uh, fourth one. One of the worst films of the year. I wonder if that's on the list. Probably. Cannonball Run 2. Oh, that's another really bad one. I remember hearing about that. Action comedy directed by Hal Neve Penn. Starring Burt Reynolds, Don De DeLuise, Dean Martin. Constellation of Star Cameos. No, they're probably saying something, but I was just saying Oh, yeah! Name. Including appearances by Jackie Chan, Frank Sinatra, Shirley MacLaine, and Sammy Davis <sighs> Jr. Shit. My main other asses couldn't say. Uh, since film follow up the original from being one of the laziest insults the intelligence of movie goes, I can remember. Yeah. As Roger ever, ever put it. I remember now! Freaking, uh, Norm MacDonald when he was on, uh, Celebrity Jeopardy with Will Ferrell. He was parodying Burt Reynolds' character from that movie. That's what that was. I'll say, I knew it sounds familiar. Yeah, uh, Jerry Ferguson's, uh, funny name. <laughs> <laughs> I got 63, my boss's daughter. Comedy romance. Oh Directed god. I do remember so well. Action Fletcher, Tara Reid, and Tara Reid. Yep. Tara Reid. Ha ha! David Zucker. She's not that bad of an actress. 
Yeah, she's in a lot of shitty things. She needs a better agent, that's what it is. Yeah. David Zucker, director of comedy classes such as Airplane and Naked Gun, was in less than his best in 2003. Ashley Kutcher Vehicle, My Boss's Daughter, film critic Nick Shager summed up his by the same. Few films are as consistent with the critic. Yeah. Problem Child 2. Oh, there this. was a second? Apparently. <laughs> genre of comedy family directed by Brian Levant. Starring John Ritter, Michael Oliver, Jack Gordon. Despite the poor reception of the first Problem Child film, Brian Levant forged ahead with a sequel to Problem Child. Michael wow. Oliver paired with the equally bratty girl. Critics still weren't won over. The contestants on ITO said it was the cynical and mad ear in family marketed entertainment, and a sequel garnered a 70% purchase rate on Rotten Tomatoes. I'm assuming the first one was back in the sound of it. It was on the list earlier, I thought. It was. It was in the 90s, wasn't it? Yeah, 1993? I think it was the original? I mean, the list, it was in the 90s. It, it was in, yeah, it was like 90, yeah, I think it was number 90, 90, 90 or 90, 99, or was it? I don't know. I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember. Well, yeah, Who gives a fuck? Exorcist 2, The Heretic. Genre Horror, directed yeah, by... Yeah, I, I knew Exorcist 2 was going to be on there. John oh, Gordon, yeah. starring Richard Burton, Linda Blair, Louise Fletcher. With a cast starring acclaimed actors Richard Burton and Louise Fletcher. Fuck! And held by Deliverance of director John Foreman. How bad could Exorcist 2 compare to be? Apparently bad enough. <laughs> Critics lambasted the film for bad special effects, a lot yeah. of plot, and poor acting. Critics gave the movie a 17% freshness rating on Rotten Tomatoes, while only 12% of the audience liked it. Like it's equal pairing press in the original, which is the 86 freshness score, and 87% of the audience liked it. Yeah. God, I hate when they use sequels for great movies like that. Look who's talking now. That sounds really familiar. Comedy Family Romance, directed by Tom Rappel. Ruffleski, starring John Travolta, Kristen Alley, and David Gallagher. I am not the crook! <laughs> Look Who's Talking Now is the third film in the Look Who's Talking trilogy. This film differs from its preceding chapter. Just barely got a second up, wow. Luigi! In that, Fuck you, Brandos! In that gives the protagonist a couple of pet dogs, this development wasn't enough to win over critics. Not a single one who recorded by Ron Smiles was just giving the film a positive review. Ugh. Wow. Gee! Oh. I want him fucking For a second, I thought easy. I, was actually, I saw his face on there, right. so I thought I was actually going to see him. I think the controls might be charged right now. Yeah. Okay. So. Well, got first again on 50cc, because apparently right. friggin' we sucked so much at fucking 100. We couldn't even get to the end of the fucking cup. I was yeah. fortunate enough to even make it to third place in the second one. <laughs> God damn it. Do we want to try it again? We can try that in the mushroom cup again. On the hundred seats, since there's no trophies on those. Oh god damn it! Do we really want to? Go for it. We want to try a lot of special cups. cups. Have a fucking marathon of this game. Why not? By the right. time we're done with this, we'll want to play any other Mario Kart game other than the yeah. obvious one. I'm gonna do one thing. All right. Save myself some electricity. Yes, you do that. All right. There. Because we do have a lot of light coming in. Yeah, that we do. And welcome back to more Super Mario Kart. I hate lights. Right, because so, we will marathon this game apparently forever. Yeah, number 59, Universal Soldier. Is the and we're still continuing the first thing I looked at, the, I looked at the image when I first looked at it, I thought I was going to see Street, Street Fighter down there, to be honest. I know, but it would be blue, though. It'd be more yeah. like blue. Yeah. I'm going to kick Bison's yeah, ass so hard. I'm going to kick that son of a bitch Bison's ass so hard. God damn it. <laughs> Arnold worked out for me last time. I'm going to pick up again. Fuck it. It's not like I got the a Mario pick. Brothers will kill you. I'll kill you later. Yeah, we only have bronze for flower. I guess it still counts, though. I believe so. I don't know. All right, 100cc run. We're going to try to get all trophy. see if we get special cup. Good yep. luck to us. Yep. Good, not good so, yeah. Good luck. Genre, action, sci-fi. Uh, directed by Mika Rogers. Starring Jean-Claude Van Damme, Bill Goldberg, and Heidi Shans. Oh, good old Jean-Claude. Johnny Claude. Action star Jean-Claude Van Damme reprises his role as cyber warrior Luke, uh, the, the front, this is the name. God damn it. I feel like we should also, maybe, this is something I just feel like, I'm not sure, like, in case some of the idiots that are watching our videos are actually curious about these lists, maybe we can throw them Yeah, okay, there you go. In this low-rated sequel to the 1982 original, 
Ron's man is leaving me. Five percent premium for failure. Ow! Raging from its generic story and it, to its second break action and subpar performances. I don't believe it. <laughs> this was still better than the original released in 1992, which got 25 percent. Ow! Because wow. a stationary egg knocked me down. Yeah. Fuck you, Bowser. Yeah, how you like that shit, you fucking turtle? Fuck. I'm trying to get in first so you don't hit me with that. I'm trying. Fuck your eggs! Get them! Get fucked! Number 58. What a 3DD. 2012. I will never oh, die. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I never die, fuck us. <laughs> Dara, comedy horror, directed by John Gulliger, starring Daniel Panabake, uh, Ling Rams, and David Hasselhoff. Oh, the Hoff! The Hoff! One of the greatest actors of our generation. Spoilers. Piranha 3DD increases the gore and self parody of the earlier Piranha 3D to disappointing effect. Yeah. The result is a horror comedy that few find either scary or funny. Yeah. Oh, here it is. Number 57, Street Fighter, the movie. Hey, there's the... Or is the Chuck Lee one, huh? Uh, apparently. Although, I argue the opposite. I mean... Well, probably this one had a wider Street Fighter had... And it was still a Street Fighter is kind of like a cult classic for cheese. I love me some cheese. Yes. I'm good. I want that cheese. Delicious cheese. Right. Who doesn't? Uh, genre action adventure comedy. Uh, directed by Stephen E. De Sosa. Sorry, drop off at Wait. Raul Julia and uh, Ming Na Wen. Can Rip. comedy was part of the genre? Apparently. That's there are some jokes. I mean, I mean, yeah. One of my favorites being uh, from Zane Keaton. When oh. they're about to get. When, uh, a, like, there was, like, a vehicle. Like, they're watching on a monitor. Mm. A vehicle's about to ramp into their headquarters. Zane Keaton just says, Quick, change the channel! <laughs> God damn it. That God. one was actually pretty funny. <laughs> wow. I'm finally getting a hang of this driving. I don't even drift. I just let go of the accelerator as I take a My favorite one was the one with uh, Bison talking. The guy was like, you're, I like you. you're gonna make, you made me a happy man. Got next to me to make me look at more. Just because of how you know, cheesy you are. Of course. Yeah. I keep getting money! This, Stop! The destruction of your village was, was the most important day of your life. But for me, it was Tuesday. <laughs> God damn it. Wow, that movie does sound very cheesy. Yeah, and that's why. And Don't like, ruin me! It was Raul Julia's last one before he You're died. You're lucky. Was like, wow, Yoshi was right behind us too. Holy shit! Part of me wanted to. Really oh. wanted to. Based on the video game series. I thought I probably should have. That would have fucked me at my rankings really bad. Yeah. Based on the video game series of the same name, no. Street Fighter the film is too campy for its own good. I guess there is a thing is too campy, but I don't know if that one hits the mark. I can. I can understand. See but fuck you, anyway. Yes. Sadly, the film was the last feature uh, film appearance of accomplished actor Paul Julia before he died of a stroke. Right. Yeah, he he wanted he agreed to do in this film because his kids wanted it. Huh, that sounds very familiar to another movie that might be on this list. Yeah. Number kids. 56. We get it, Booties too. Oh yeah, I forgot that was a thing. 1993. Because apparently you could do it. How many times does your Uncle Bernie die that you can keep doing this? Could be another Uncle Bernie. God damn it. No, it's Uncle Bernie um, the second, Uncle Bernie the third. No. Woo! No, it's just all your uncles were named Bernie. God damn it. Yeah, Bernie the first, Bernie the second, Bernie the third, Bernie senior, Bernie junior. Bernie junior. Bernie, Bernie Sanders. <laughs> Bernie Mac. Wait, what? That's a lot of Bernies. Because of Bernie's Uncle Bernie uh, twice removed. God damn it. Yo, I'm gonna crush this fucking race. Watch this shit. Bernie I'm gonna Steen. crush this. Oh. Yeah. Bernie Steen? No, wait, what? Bernstein. God damn it. Bernstein? Yeah, what? Apparently, it's, apparently it's actually spelled Bernstein. <laughs> Your childhood's a lie. There you go. Anyway. Genre, adventure, comedy, fantasy. 
Directed by Robert McGlenn. <gasps> Andrew McCarthy. Uh, Jonathan Silverman and Terry Kisser. Bernie, who is dead, as anyone who saw the original Weekend of Bernie's will remember, dances, hang glides, and attracts the ladies. In uh, this uh, uh, de uh, belabored sequel, variously <laughs> described by Chris as mindless and repetitive, and relentlessly labored and pointless. I feel no like way! I can't believe that! No, I don't believe this! What is this? Okay, Damn it! Number 55, In the Army Now, 1994. Hmm. In the Army Now. Seeing who's... It stars, I can kind of see why it failed. Oh, God. Genre, Comedy War. Directed by Daniel uh, Petrie Jr. Huh. Starring, Holy Shore. Oh, God. Lori Petty and Andy Dick. Oh boy. Does not sound like a good cast. Mostly Polly Shore. I mean, yeah. Polly Shore was... I'm sorry! I hit myself with my own shell by Polly speeding Shore... into it. Yeah, Polly Shore was highly prolific during the 1990s. Whether we want him to two or not. Yeah. Starring in popular movies like, uh, in Chino Man and Son in Law. He was in popular movies? Apparently. And those were popular movies? <laughs> Apparently. Yeah, I was gonna say, what? <laughs> Not all of his material was of equal quality, however, as evidenced by the wartime comedy in the Army Man. I mean... The current... Well, the, the movie currently has a mere 6% fresh rating from Critics on Rotten Tomatoes. I mean, I'm pretty sure they all have an equal call quality. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> I knew this was going to be here on eventually. Number 54, Superman 4, The Quest for Peace. All right. 1987. The last of the Christopher Reeves Spider-Man movies. Super! Okay. Oh god! Get it, band! Sorry. I'm checking, I accidentally spit somewhere. Oh! Not anywhere Wait. on the equipment, is there? Doesn't look like it. Now we're fine. Okay. Like, don't give up! I was saying, I scared for a second. I was like, what happened? Ah! I thought you were just gonna give up because you somehow called Chris and called him the best. I got distracted. Like... It's like. It's, it's like Superman, Spider Man! That's Sam Raimi! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all superheroes are the same. Is, is it? Is it the one that fights the Joker? That's Batman! He's one in Spanish, right? That's a lot of them! <laughs> nah, big deal. He's the one that runs over fast, right? But, uh, That's Flash! That's the Flash! Is that one that start Halle Berry? That's Catwoman! <laughs> <laughs> and we don't talk about that! <laughs> Isn't he the one in Red that likes to fight the fourth wall? That's Deadpool! Oh, wait, oh yeah, you're right. He's the one. He's the asshole in the Batman universe that has the uh, sword in the one eye. That's Deathstroke. Oh, I thought he was called Slate. Isn't he the one that's along with a lot of other superheroes in that school thing? That's Charles Xavier. That's X-Men. Damn it! Oh, yeah, what about the bro Oh yeah, you're thinking the Brotherhood. That's murder. Well, <laughs> looks like we have a competition on our hands. So, this can only end one the way. The 21st Smackdown of this series. Right. This can only end one way. Really bad. <laughs> Just yeah. somebody has to get top four, we're good. That's all it needs to happen. Yep. Genre, action, adventure, family. Directed by Sydney uh, J. L. Curry. Starring Chris Marie, Gene Hackman, and Mark uh, Kidder. Original Superman cast members, Chris Marie, Gene Hackman, and Mark, Mark Kidder, are present here, too. But... Like According to consensus critic review on my You mother! Oh, they fucked you there like Coda got fucked before. Oh. Yeah. Hey, well, that like not competition uh, anymore, uh, motherfucker. Uh, you here. shut up! <laughs> I know exactly what I'm doing! You're going the wrong way! I can't help it! Fuck. I know exactly what I'm doing. You shut up! Anyway. <laughs> Go ahead. Sorry. Uh, review on the Rotten Tomatoes. The Superman series bottoms out here, and the action is boring, special effects look cheaper. I'm not kidding, by the way. I mean, I'm not surprised. And none of the actors appear interested in where the plot is going. Yeah, you wonder how cheap the, super, the special effects are? They reuse the same... Anytime Superman is flying into the screen, it's literally using the same shot. 
Just putting a different background. Yeah, sounds like a Michael Bay kind of move. Now his is just be explosions everywhere. The no, same five explosions. There have been analyses of his freaking Transformers movies where he's literally pulling the same scene and using it again with different audio. Like literally the same exact scene with different audio. Right, Man, was, I lost this four. Knew this was also gonna be on here. Number, Shit! Number 53, Dumb and Dumberer when Harry met Lloyd, 2003. So, Yoshi! <laughs> you know how I fucked up right there? <laughs> did you pull off the same stunt that I did? I missed the road! Unimpeded! And fucking went and fucking did a small jump over the track to fucking throw myself behind you. <laughs> you went one job by nail, and you fucked it up. <laughs> Ah, 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 ah. And now, you're number two. Anyway. To no! Me. No! We horror! Anyway. Behold. How could this happen to me? I am number one. No! <laughs> you answer to me. It's no longer Super Mario Brothers. You fuck. It's Super Luigi Brothers. I will murder you, you fuck! We'll start here. It's Super Luigi Kart, everyone. Welcome to Super Luigi Kart. Welcome to Year of Luigi 2. <laughs> Year of Luigi 2. <laughs> <laughs> Luigi Honda. Two? Why? Damn right. <laughs> Luigi Boogaloo? Eh. Fuck that, anyway. I said before. Uh, Electric so Luigi Boo. <laughs>